Hey folks, PK here. So today we're going to try to catch some surf perch on the Oregon coast. And this is the rod and reel we're going to use. I showed this before. Um, this is the Shimano FX2500. Uh, it's a spinning reel and it's one of their uh, lower end model. Um, it comes in at about $25 to $30 depending on where you get it. So it's a really cheap reel. Um, it's a budget reel. And obviously, it's, when, it's within most people's budget. So um, if you're just starting out surf fishing, and this is a really good uh, reel to start out with because it's cheap and uh, you can find it anywhere. I have 15-pound braid on here. And for the rod, I am using a Berkley Lightning Rod. This is a 7-foot medium action. So basically, uh, this is just like a setup for bass fishing. And it also works really well for catching surf perch. Um, the rod works really well. Seven foot is enough to cast a weight out there. And yes, you can use a two ounce weight on here. Um, I had no problem tossing a two ounce weight with this rod. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's a really simple setup. Um, cheap reel, cheap rod. The rod is about $25 as well. Um, I got it a while back. But, you know, everything is going to be under around $60. So... That's going to keep the budget down. Okay, so let's go to the beach and try to catch some surfers. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try this setup. This setup's going to catch me some surf perch. At least that's a plan. Okay. There we go. First cast. Oh, oh, I had a hit. Had another hit. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Fish on. Fish on. So I'm about five minutes in, guys. Five minutes in, I got my first fish. I don't think he's a very big one. What is he? Okay, there we go. Yep, that's a silver. There we go, guys. First fish of the day. Silver surf perch. He took the uh, the gulp night crawler. Little guy. Not bad. A lot of fun. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Oh, what a slow morning. Holy goodness. What a slow morning. But then again, I am fishing the, uh, the low tide too. Another silver. Oh, man. We can't have that. Oh, easy, buddy. Okay, there we go. So that was uh, silver number two. Well, I'm guessing once the tide comes in, it'll bring them in. And I, I realize I'm not gonna get much during the low tide. Because this spot I'm fishing at, um, it's best during a high tide. I know some spots is good during a low tide, but this spot specifically is best during a high tide. And it's coming in, I have about three more hours to wait. So hopefully it picks up. Oh, there's another one. There's another one, guys. Holy moly. Don't tell me this is just another silver city. My God. No, last time I was here, I caught nothing but silver. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, man? Look at you. Woo! Tiny little bugger. All right, buddy. Man, that's a cool looking fish. Really awesome looking. It's beautiful. Okay, there you go. It's a little guy. Oh, there's a little one. There's a big one out there. Somewhere. I don't know if it's at this beach or not, but they're out there. 
Of course, I expect it to get better when the tide comes in. Oh, there's a there's a hit. Oh, there's another hit, man. Oh, there's one. There's another one, guys. Yep, another silver. Another silver. Another silver, guys. I have a feeling it's gonna be a silver city, just like the last time. Okay, where are you? I feel them fighting. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I've seen you before. You're a rerun. All right, buddy. Here we go. Boom. Other way, other way. Oh, there he goes. He got it. When you drop them down, it's kind of weird. They always swim towards the beach. <laughs> and then they, they get their bearing and they realize, oh, wait, the ocean's the other way. <laughs> Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Another one. Yeah, you guessed it. It's a silver. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You silver cannot leave me alone, man. Ah, just kidding. I love catching these guys no matter what. Doesn't matter the size, man. They're fun to catch. Come on in, little buddy. I'll let you go. I will let you go. Yep. Yeah, I know you. I know you. Come here. Oh, there we go. Boy. Okay, he took the gulp sandworm. All right, buddy. There you go. Woo! Well, this uh, setup catches anything, huh? Even silver. Oh. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back silver. Holy moly. I'm waiting for the tide to come up so I can bring in the big red tails. But I'm about three hours away. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how big the silver is. Woo! Oh, double silver. There we go, guys. All right. Okay, okay, hold on. There's one. Okay, there's two. There you go. Gosh, stay off my hook. Give me the red tails, man. Okay, guys. So, my sandworm, just to show you guys, is all dried. I dry it, um, I dry it up so you can see they're, they're a little bit darker. Okay, and I leave them outside for about, I think it was about four hours, and it wasn't a very warm day. It was about 80 degrees, and the wind was kind of light. So it was hot and super windy. They're going to dry out faster. So I wouldn't leave it out for that long. Just check it often. But um, these are all dried out, and they last a lot longer because they're dried out. They're more rubbery, and they stay, they stay on the hook much better. So I'm gonna switch out my sandworm. And uh, boy, they they really tore into this one. These guys are quite voracious. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Man, hopefully we can get some red tails. Hopefully we can land some. It's just really annoying to catch these silver. Well, it's not annoying. I mean, they're still fun, right? But what we want are the bigger ones. Oh, wow. There's a hit, guys. I had a strong hit, but it didn't take it. Wow. Seriously, how did it miss that, man? Come on, take it, buddy. All right, nothing, huh? Okay. That was a really nice hit. Let's go back. Let's go back. I guess if you, uh, if you get a hit, just like cast through the same spot, I mean, that's kind of obvious. Okay, so that was nothing. So let's go for another one. I'm hoping for the tide to be bringing them in soon. It hasn't happened yet. We got about another three hours before high tide. 
Oh, I got another one. Another silver. Woo! Silver, my goodness. I'm using a size four hook and they're still able to fit that in their mouth. Man, oh man. All right, you. Where are you at, little sucker? Okay, boy, man. It's just kind of skipping along. You're only a little bit bigger than my sandworm. Gosh, buddy. That's uh, there we go, man. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, wait, is that a, yep, there's, there's one, guys. Bigger, maybe, a, a bigger one, maybe. Please let me be bigger. He's fighting like it. Oh, he's on the surface. Oh, it's a silver, I see him. Gosh, I got excited for nothing. I thought it was a big one, the way he hit. Oh, I foul hooked it. That's why it felt big, because I foul hooked it. Okay, guy. Okay, there you go. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, there's one. Finally. Oh, yeah. Woo, I'm excited. Heck yeah. Finally. A red tail. A real one. A really, really big red tail. Well, I'm just guessing here, okay? All morning, man, I've been catching silver, 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 and more silver. This is a decent one. Come on, buddy, I'm keeping you. I don't care what you are, I'm keeping you today, man. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, big red tail, guys. Big red tail. There we go, oh no. Oh no, guys, she's a red tail. I'm sorry, she's a female, dang it. Oh well, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze her babies out and keep her. I'm gonna squeeze out. Well, I don't know, man. Okay. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep her. Okay, here we go. Babies. Okay. All right. I see them swim off. There they go. I have a feeling it might be a bait for the other red tail. Okay guys, finally got one. I squeezed out all her babies, but I'm thinking more likely uh, they're gonna be food for other red tails. Okay, so here's a female right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. I'm gonna keep them. Uh, today, I'll just keep everything. But anyways, hopefully, you know, this is a, it's a first fish of many. And uh, yeah, let's, looks like they, uh, took off the tail of the sandworm. So I'll put a new one on and try to get more. Looks like it, this looks like they're coming in. See, that's why I dried them out. If that was a, uh, a sandworm that hasn't been dried. And by the way, I'm not throwing these on the ground. They're going right into my bucket. But anyways, um, if that was a normal sandworm that wasn't dried, it would have been ripped out. So that's why you always dry them. It, they make it, it makes it so that you can keep it on the hook a lot longer. And those little silver, those little sand dabs can nibble on it all they want. Um, anyways, all right, I got all baited up. Let's go get some more. Let's go do it. Okay. Hey, you seagull. Better not be stealing my fish. Oh, there's one, guys. There's one. There's another one. Woo! They are coming in. Actually, it feels like a small one, though. Yeah, it's a little guy. Oh, little guy. There we go. That is another baby red tail. All right, buddy. There we go. Awesome looking fish. Let's let this guy go. All right, there you go, buddy. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, guys. Uh, we'll make this my last fish. Last fish. Probably another silver. There we go. Uh, decent sized silver. 
Okay, buddy. Actually, no, that's not a silver. That is a spot fin. Spot fin. All right, guys. So we'll. This is my last fish. So yeah, pretty decent setup. Really cheap. Cheap reel, cheap rod, and that's all you really need. You probably have this already in your arsenal, so you don't really need like expensive gear. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, tight lines. Okay guys, so that's about it. As you can see, you don't need a expensive gear to get started surf fishing in the Oregon coast. Uh, cheap reel, cheap rod, seven foot, um, you know, probably 25, 30 bucks at Weimar. Same thing with a reel, Shimano FX. This is size 2,500 and uh, 15 pound uh, braid line and gulp sandworms, number two or number four hook, two ounce weight, and that's about it. Um, I use a mono leader and uh, just cast out there and most likely you're gonna catch them. So yeah, just uh, use whatever you have in your arsenal. Don't need to upgrade and, well, you can upgrade later course you know if you if you really get into surf fishing you, you want to you know get serious about it you can upgrade to like a 10 foot salmon rod but for now just stick with what you have try it out see how you like it and adjust later okay guys so thanks for watching I will see you later have fun fishing tight lines